Hi guys, welcome to Time Out with Yomi Martins. This is Yomi Martins, your favorite guy from Lagos, Nigeria. And on this channel, you know what we do. We give you all the tips on passive income and how to put money in that bag. And if this is the kind of content you like, please make sure you smash the like and subscribe button, drop me a comment, and I will do more. Welcome to our guide on the 15 crucial things to know when starting a business. Whether you're a first-time entrepreneur or looking to refresh your knowledge, these key points will help set you up for success. Now, the first thing you need to do is validate your business idea. First and foremost, validate your business idea, research your market, understand customer needs, and analyze competitors. This step ensures that there is a demand for your products or services. Because it doesn't actually make sense, you're going into a business that from the word go will not work. So you need to do your background research to make sure that what you are doing or what the business you are going into would be marketable in the first place. So, with that out of the way, you have the light bulb set. <clears throat> Two, you need to develop a solid business plan. And what do I mean about that? Create a comprehensive business plan outlining your business goals, target markets, competition, and financial projections. You need to understand all this. A solid plan is, is, is a major guide that would ensure that your strategy attracts the right investors. And once you attract the right investors, you are on your path to success in the first place. Three, you need to choose the right legal structure for your business. A legal structure that fits your business, such as a sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, or corporation. Each structure has different implications for liability, taxes, and ownership. So, from the beginning, you need to decide the kind of business you want to run and the kind of legal structure that is best for you in the first place you can't just choose a random structure that will not favor you at the end of the day or you might need to start changing the game plan midway so right from the world go you need to decide on the best business structure for a legal structure for you that fits fits your liability <clears throat> um, um, tolerance your taxes and the kind of ownership you want to have because you might end up running into trouble if you choose the wrong structure in the first place the next thing is for you to secure funding how do you do that determine how you will finance your business options include your personal savings loans investors or crowdfunding Although that is not really that popular in this part of the world, in Nigeria. But in the United States, in the UK and other parts of Europe and Asia, crowdfunding is actually popular. Ensure you have a clear financial plan to manage your startup costs and ongoing expenses. Now, with all that out of the way, we get on to number five which is build your brand. Develop a strong brand identity. Your brand should reflect your business values and resonate with your target audience. This includes your logo, company colors, and overall messaging. Because your branding tells you exactly who you are. I'm sure if you see the logo of a toyota or a mercedes even without the words being written you know 
the brand already. Number six, comply with legal requirements. Ensure you meet all legal requirements, including registering your business, obtaining necessary licenses and permits, and understanding tax obligations. Compliance helps avoid legal trouble down the line. The taxation in one location would be different from another location. Because government policies all over the world are different. So I actually advise you to engage a professional. Because if you do not comply with legal requirements, you can actually get into trouble and have your business locked up in the first place. So those considerations are better when you engage a professional to advise you on the requirements for the kind of business you want to do. Focus on product and service development. Work on creating high-quality products or services that addresses customer needs. Because you are not in business for yourself alone. You are in business for your customers. Continuously seek feedback and make improvements to stay competitive always. Since you are in business, for your customers, customer is king. Eight, implement a marketing strategy. Develop a marketing strategy to reach your target audience effectively. Utilize online and offline channels, such as social media, content marketing, and networking to build awareness and attract customers. And the beauty is that the world has changed from the traditional media. With social media right now and digital marketing, you can actually reach the right demography because you would have put the criteria you want in, this, in, the, in the direction of your, um, uh, the, in the appropriate direction that you want to reach rather. Number nine, choose your sales channel. Decide where and how you will sell your product or service. Options include physical storefronts, online store, or third-party platforms. Consider what aligns best with your business model. For instance, you will not see a Rolex wristwatch being sold in the open market, for instance, because the kind of people that will buy the Rolex are different from the kind of people that will buy groceries. So you need to find out where your target markets are and how to sell, how to get there to sell to them. Number 10, create an operations plan. Outline your operational processes, including supply chain management, inventory control, and day-to-day -day activities. A clear operations plan helps ensure smooth and efficient business operations. Without a plan, you would just miss your goals. Number 11. Build a strong team. Assemble a team with the skills and experience needed to help grow your business. Focus on hiring people who share your vision and can contribute to your company's success. A company is as good as the team that they possess. If you do not have the right kind of people, you are not ready to do business. Number 12. Prioritize customer service. Deliver excellent customer service to build loyalty and ensure repeat business. Address customer inquiries and issue promptly and strive and issues promptly and strive to exceed their expectations. 
You need to wow your customers. You need to make them feel that they are most they are the most important to you so that they keep coming back every time. And notes. Service, efficiency, quality, reliability are the only ways you can keep your customers. And they'll end up being your raving fans and do your marketing even for you. Number 13. Monitor and evaluate performance. Regularly track your business performance using key metrics and analytics. Evaluate your progress and make that driven decisions to improve your strategies and operations. We're in a world of data right now because data actually tells the whole picture about a business's health or otherwise. Everything is in the numbers. Number 14. Be ready to adapt. There will be stormy times, there will be rainy times, but you need to adapt to the frequent regulatory changes, different competitors coming into the market, and all that. The business landscape is constantly changing. Stay flexible and be prepared to adapt your strategies in response to market trends. Customer feedback and new opportunities are ever evolving. And lastly, network and build relationships. Build a network of contacts. Include mentors, peers, and industry professionals. Networking can provide valuable insights, support, and opportunities for your business. Now, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more tips. If you need advisory services, you can always reach out to me on oluyomi.martins at gmail.com or send me a WhatsApp message on 080-33026-237. Subscribe, like, share, and leave me a comment. Until I see you again, I remain your guy, Yomi Martins from the city of Lagos, Nigeria. Take care of yourself and bye for now.